we believe the government believes the cbi believes that pwc was actively colluding in this uh, felony that's vineet nair the chairman of mahindra satyam who's on a war path with price water house he believes the audit firm is responsible for the reputational damage and business losses that mahindra satyam is currently grappling with price water house says it's in fact a victim but nair begs to differ i don't see how they are uh, they can uh, uh, cast themselves in the role of a victim uh, their auditors uh, have been giving for almost 40 quarters it's not one quarter or two quarter a uh, certification that what they were certifying were true and accurate uh, reflection of the company's accounts they had a fiduciary responsibility to vet those accounts which they did not do but will the face off between mahindra satyam and one of the top notch audit firms redefine promoter auditor relationships no longer is there going to be a cozy situation vis-a-vis -vis companies and auditors and there's going to be a far greater and more penetrative auditing that will happen and there will be a a, a much closer watch on whether the final expectations that society has and clients have are being met that is a big ticket change that will happen on the positive side both managements and auditors may not want to take any chances anymore especially when it comes to bookkeeping it will be interesting to see how the new environment in which auditing will have far greater expectations from it and companies which will want to make sure that they get appropriate financial statements prepared and communicated to the investing public there will be a very different kind of interface between the auditor and the audit the jury is still out on who's at fault but one thing is for sure the ongoing battle could bring in greater accountability on the part of both managements as well as auditors ashwin mohan et now mumbai